Hi everyone and welcome to Hobby World. We are in the middle of March and I thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you all the projects I'm working on at the moment. So please stick around and see what I got in store for you all. If we are going to talk about my current projects, there's no way around it. We definitely need to mention this one. This is Drasa the Assassin and it's a 3D printed model of a pinup girl. And the model is actually full size. It is 177 centimeters tall. So this is a really, really impressive model. If you follow my YouTube channel, you know that I have already uploaded a single video about this project. And in that video, I show everything from how I work with the 3D model to printing all of the parts, cleaning them up and assembling the model. And finally, I'm showing how I get the model primed and ready for painting. So um, this is the project I'm working on right now. This is the main project. And I'm going to finish the rest of the paintwork on this during this weekend. And after that, I'm going to edit all of the video material I have and then I'm going to upload the second episode on YouTube about this project. And I'm personally looking very much forward to that because this project means a lot to me. This is uh, probably some of the best work I've done so far. So I am really excited about how it's going to turn out. If we just turn the camera a bit around, then we'll be able to see some of the other projects I'm working on at the moment. As I said before, the 3D printed pinup girl is definitely my main project at the moment but I'm going to finish her within a week or so. And next up is this one. This is part of a slot car track. This is a billboard that's going to be located, a scenery on the track, and then I have all these barricades. This is all part of my apocalypse slot car track where I have sort of like a Terminator theme on the track itself and it's a desert and there's a lot of rubble, crash plane and so on. And I've been working a bit on that track already, but due to the temperatures and due to the winter, I simply had to stop the project as the track itself is located in a room we are not heating. So I simply had to stop the project uh, at that point because it was getting way too cold. But right now the weather is getting warmer and uh, that would be a perfect opportunity to finishing this project. And there's a reason uh, more that I need to finish it. And that's because we are actually hosting a slot car track uh, championship each year and uh, I want to start that championship on this new track so uh, I'm actually a bit in a hurry getting this finished so as soon as the the pinup girl is finished I'm going to work more on this track and uh, that will be my main main project there are a couple of parts over here that's also for that track these ones it might not be able to see it or it might not be possible to see it right here, but this is actually Hunter Killer's aerial from uh, the Terminator franchise. And I'm going to um, mount uh, small uh, LEDs on these so they can uh, use sort of like spotlights from uh, these models that's uh, hanging above the track. And then um, they will uh, make these spotlights on the track and thereby illuminating off the track. So they are a really important part of the build. So uh, there are three Honda Killers here and I have one on my work table I'm going to show you later. If we take a look at some of the other projects that's located on the uh, table, we have a T600 Terminator head here. It's almost prepared for painting. It's primed up, it's uh, completely clean and it's, uh, it's, it's ready. I just need to paint that. I might uh, do that as a side project while working on the slot car track. Then we have this one over here. This is also a Terminator, but it's a bit more elaborate. This is a T900 from the Sarah Connor Chronicles. And if you saw that there was some hair over here, it's actually a wig meant for this model over here. All of this is going to be painted like a person or as real as I can get it. But if we take a look here at the arms, we can see that there are holes in them. These holes will have uh, robotic parts sticking out beneath them. The same will the torso right here. This is just support for the printing process. That, so there will be these robotic parts sticking out below the torso and it's going to look really incredible. All of this model is going to be mounted in the ceiling uh, where it hangs in some robotic arms that looks like they're performing maintenance on it. So I, that, that's just an incredible project. But uh, I'll have to finish the slot car track before I can work on this one. Then I have this one. This is a cat, basically. It's a Halloween cat. It has a small cape, it has a cute hat, its ears right there and then the head over here and then all of the other parts. It's really cute. 
the idea behind this is that um, there's been some persons who has asked me how I make these 3D printed projects. There's actually been a lot of persons who has asked me how I assemble, how I clean and how I glue off this stuff. And uh, I thought this is a perfect opportunity to do a, a guide, make some guides on the channel. And uh, so you're probably going to see some DIY guides on the, the Hobby World channel pretty soon. As I thought this was a great way of improving the content on the YouTube channel and uh, doing something other people could use for something. So all of my other videos, they are working with the um, projects and I'm showing how I make a single project, but I'm not really going into the depth of how I do the single steps. So these guide videos I'm going to do here will focus on a single part of the build. This could be how I'm working with the 3D model and preparing it for print, how I print the model, then how I clean the models, how I assemble them, and so on. And I have actually already written a script, which I usually don't do for all of this, so I cover all of the stuff that's required. And I'm personally looking forward to sh shooting these videos and seeing how they turn out. I think that uh, a lot of people could use these guide videos, and well, I hope that a lot of people could use these guide videos, and that they will be fun to make. And uh, just wanted to let you all know that if there's anything you're interested in me sharing on the channel then please write it in the comments or send me a message about it. I actually listen to you all so if there's anything you'd like me to do, make, try sending me a request and I'll, I'll consider it and uh, take a look at it. Then just quickly to cover the last couple of projects that's placed on this table, I have something over here. I don't know if you can see it, but this is a HeroQuest sign. I am getting a bit into 3D printing board games after the Catan game I gave my wife. And uh, this is the HeroQuest board game, or some parts of it. I have started 3D printing and it's going to be a real neat project. Nothing more said about that right now. And finally, this one still with supports and everything. This is a White Star from Babylon 5. There's probably not that many people who know it, but I am a huge, huge fan of uh, sci-fi. And uh, I just love the uh, Babylon 5 franchise. So uh, when I saw that uh, Gambody had several 3D printable models of uh, ships or spaceships, then I simply had to print some of them. And uh, I've decided to start with that, um, that single uh, white star model I got over there. Right now I'm just going to go inside and then I'll show you what's on my hobby table at the moment. As you might have noticed I work a lot on these uh, large scale 3D printed models but I'm also doing several other kinds of hobby related projects and this is my work table. When I walk inside and I decide to work on something of a bit less size than the large full scale 3D printed models this is usually where I work. I have my soldering iron here, over here and a glue gun and then of course all of my paint and all of my tools and uh, this, is a, this is a really neat corner and I enjoy painting here. Lately I've installed a camera above my workspace so I can record uh, all of the work I'm doing and uh, I hope this can give me some uh, nice videos if I'm going to do smaller projects later on the channel. Currently I'm working on a model of, and you guessed it, this is Brasa, the exact same model I have in full scale out in my workshop. So uh, this is just the size she was actually designed to be printed in and uh, painted in. So it's actually really funny trying to paint her up like she's supposed to be, and then I can compare the two models when I finished it. I also have a Hunter Killer over here. This is for the slot car track. And uh, as you can see, I have run some uh, copper uh, tape below it. This is for lights from the engines and from the tail. And then I'm going to add a couple of spotlights on it so it can hover above the slot car track like this and then cast lights down on the track and thereby illuminate the slot car track. I'm going to make three or four of these and they will be uh, uh, an important part of the uh, scenery on the track and there will also be an important part of actually illuminating the track so um, people can see where they're driving when uh, we cut off the lights from the room and it's just the light from the track itself. 
So uh, that's going to be a real fun project. And when I finish Strasse here, the full size model and this one, I'm going to continue with the slot car track and uh, put almost all of my efforts into finishing that. So um, that's, uh, that's pretty exciting. If you found any of these projects interesting, you should definitely check out my Instagram page. I share VIP pictures of a lot of my day-to-day -day projects in there. So it's definitely a place where you can find a lot more information about all the stuff I'm doing. You could also find me on Facebook on the Hobby World channel. The link is shared in the description down below. In here it's possible to debate or talk about all the projects and you can also share your own projects.